welcome everyone this is me sujit kumar uh, i am continuing my vector series okay as you know about me my name is sujit i have done btech in electrical and i also have two years of work experience in tc now the in the last uh, part i have given you one question okay so here is its solution okay which is of the subtraction of the vector okay so it was asking about the magnitude of the resultant of the vector of addition and also of the subtraction so the same formula if you know the formula you can get the answer if you have any problem you can ping me in the inbox okay the only thing that you need to remind that angle between vector a and vector minus b is 120 degree why it is getting so because c vector angle between vector a plus vector a plus vector b is 60 degree so if we replace with minus vector b then angle is going to be uh, 180 minus 60 so angle will become 120 degree fine and after then you can use the formula for vector a plus b you will get the same result now uh, i am going to start the different topic which is the resolution of vector resolution vector it is the taking the uh, projection in different axes okay in the horizontal in the vertical okay in a case in the case of plane and uh, in the case of space we will get three uh, direction okay in which the vector is get resoluted okay so vector a can be written as vector ob plus vector oc vector ob is nothing but the horizontal direction x axis component and vector oc is nothing but the vertical uh, component which is in the y axis diagram c vector ob is in the x axis and vector oc is on the y axis okay now as we have resolved the vector into two parts one along ox and other along oy the magnitude of the part along ox is can be written as a cos alpha why because you know from the trigonometry it is oab is a right angle triangle and ob will be what oa cos alpha okay why it is the hypotenuse it is the base okay and cos alpha is what base upon hypotenuse similarly and uh, oc can be written with the trigonometry okay so ob is a cos alpha oc is a cos beta along with we are uh, putting one direction okay this is the i cap this is the j cap it is nothing but the unit vector okay i will teach you but uh, this is the simple thing what is unit vector unit vector is nothing but having the single magnitude means magnitude is one and direction is particular direction okay but its magnitude is one direction is specified it will be given okay so i vector is what having the magnitude one and its direction is along the x axis and j vector is j cap or vector is nothing but the having the magnitude one and direction along y axis okay fine if suppose the vector is not in the xy plane if the vector are in the xy z axis okay suppose in the space as i have told you most of the question you will encounter is in the space okay so then what can we do we can resolute the vector in all the three component okay a cos i a cos alpha i a cos beta j a cos gamma k with this we will get the required resolution now you may ask what is the need of the resolution resolution is quite helpful okay for us uh, because any kind of problem that you face Uh, which is in vector you can solve easily and in a very short amount of time okay most of the teacher use as uh, this as a trick okay because we can make many tricks use the resolution because uh, question will become quite faster even in the physics even in the math also because in the rotation part you know quite tough in uh, in our uh, laws and motion friction okay in the math 3d you will find many question which can be solved quite easily by using the resolution okay i hope you have understood uh now i will come uh, i will teach you in the next session okay i am keeping the session short just because it helps you uh, to do another task also because at this time you have an uh, you have to work uh, your homework 
you are going to school you are also preparing for the je okay so i am giving you the short and short video so you you won't get bored okay and just in the classroom uh, what happened uh, we i was also a student at your time so i know if we, i give you the lecture of around 1 hour 2 hours completely okay you will get bored and you will say oh no, sir i am not uh, getting this okay and won't help your brain you should take lecture slice manner okay take then refresh then again sit back and then refresh and i will also say you if you are uh, understanding it is good you please keep note the uh, also okay by pausing the slide you can get the notes this is my profile